Hello guys, uh, so I just wanted to do a little update on uh, something that I've discovered with the heart rate variability. Uh, so, heart rate variability is the, the timing between the heartbeats and how, how different they are. So, the more the same they are, the less, um, less ideal from what I can discern. Um, so for instance, been measuring my heart rate variability for a long time now, months and months, um, maybe even a year actually. Not too sure, I'll have to look at the data. Uh, but the, the data in the past few months has been fascinating to watch, especially since um, you know, I've started to get a bit of a more of an understanding of my health and um, the hypothyroidism, you know, the glands here not, not working properly and how that's connected to the gut and the leaky gut syndrome. Um, so a really cool thing is uh, I had, this is not ideal, but I had KFC, uh, when was it? It was probably three, four weeks back. Um, and I could see the dip in my heart rate variability on those days, like to the point where um, it's pretty accurate to discern that in the 20s, 20 millisecond range to 30 millisecond range, I'm not having a great day. I'm feeling pretty shocking, um, feeling pretty sad, and memory is terrible. Uh, my memory recall around those times is terrible. Um, so it's just really cool to be able to have a metric to be able to refer to for that. And the latest metric thing that I've found with this is I think it is not just um, or, or the actual thing that it is measuring is inflammation inside the body. So what makes me think this is I went for a run as well, which obviously is not part of my gut. Well, well you know, running can affect the gut. But um, what I'm trying to get to is running an extreme amount. Um, so, for instance, I've done not much, um, you know, high intensity training, 10 minutes every now and then. But then, like, I did a two hour session of, of like, um, fast paced walking and running. And that hurts obviously because of the joints and um you know i've got uh what do you call it on the back of the back of the uh heels when you get blisters i've got blisters on both sides um you know and the hips were hurt and you know <laughs> so obviously overdone it and uh the heart rate variability tanked for the next two to three days like today is the day of the second day of recovery i can see it climbing up so um, it's fascinating to see, personally, just the attitude changes. Um, there's, there's a discernible difference in my voice um, when it's in a higher stage. A lot of this is just my, my personal observations of my own life. It's not like academic, um, you know, academically verified. But fascinatingly, I do read some academic papers, not not news articles, not, none of this blogging crap where people are just giving their opinion, which is what I'm doing right now. <laughs> um, I, I try to validate what I'm saying against something that has been scientifically, uh, the scientific method has been applied to, just a lens, a way that we can look at the world. And um, peer reviewing is just an essential part of life I think you know not just scientifically but you know if I, if I if I manage to hurt myself by running into a window and somebody observes that and they go nah that doesn't hurt and then they run into a window and it's like oh that actually hurt you know it's a peer review process uh, pretty dumb to do it that way but <laughs> it's better to observe and learn rather than observe copy and learn <laughs> so I was fortunate enough to read a few journal articles and they will be reviewed and they seem to suggest that heart rate variability was inversely proportioned to uh, inflammation so meaning you get inflammation in the body so inflammation goes up the, the metric for inflammation goes up and I can't remember what they were using it was some acronym but means nothing to me and the heart rate variability was going down so like that's pretty cool that that's um that's a capability that so that was my really long random update on heart rate variability and how I'm using it in my own life to measure quality of life essentially and whether I am improving or in fact declining in my health. 
um, and feeling like crap and being unassociated exactly to certain things is extremely hard and having heart rate variability as a guide to to just see it's, it's really a compass to see whether those actions were probably what caused it so it's made it a whole lot easier for instance it has given me confidence in a meal that I cook two meals actually and it's a one of them is a vegan dish and one of them is not uh, one of them is heavily on the meat side um, so the vegan dish pressure cooker throw lentils in throw chickpeas uh, coconut milk whole lot of ginger like three tablespoons of ginger so like a little little tin of ginger it's like just put in half half a tin you know don't worry about it <laughs> so um, get a garam masala in there turmeric in there put that in the pressure cooker a little bit of a uh, little bit of olive oil or I personally use um, coconut oil in that one and shallots done just all in the pressure cooker four whistles and you have a meal that is reducing inflammation and like I can see that on the heart rate variability graphs and it's like wow it's like if I have a shit day like I know the mechanisms in order to be able to reverse the inflammation in the body and you know, this is probably obvious to a lot of people. It's not obvious to me. It's taken me a long time to learn that. Um, so, uh, I'm excited about it. And I thought I just want to share that excitement. So, yeah. I'll end the video there because it's really long. Probably post this one to YouTube. Why not? Peace out, guys. Have a great day. Cool runnings. Peace be the journey.